All righty, I have a construction update for you guys today, and by the title, you already know this is going to be um, a pretty cool one, I guess, at minimum. Don't get too overhyped, though. Don't get too overhyped, because when you see the area, you're, you're going to lose some hype. Um, but nonetheless, Wonderland, Timber Kits, um, and Fine Tune Construction, I believe is the name. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's the name. Um, they assembled uh, Wonderland's new lighthouse in the span of one night. Um, so when I found out they were building it, I had to go fly. Um, I caught them installing the first two structures. It was a really cool system that they had in place. They had three cranes in total. A crane would lift one over, then the second crane would lift it over to where the big crane could lift it up and then install the piece. So it was a it was a very structured process um, and really impressive. Uh, there's a whole team of people that are behind this project. Uh, Wonderland um design team actually was in charge of painting the structure itself so it's really cool how many um talented people went into making this beautiful lighthouse it's such an understatement hopefully now there's obviously going to be some sort of trampoline on that deck as well so it's missing a lot it looks very bland right now that whole structure um in the water but i have a feeling it's going to be souped up a little bit it's definitely gonna have some trampolines so maybe a little additional theming or greenery to hide uh, the trampoline and that ugly dock looking thing in front of the lighthouse. So that would be my guess. Hopefully, fingers crossed that they do something with that large three quarters of the dock left that hasn't been utilized yet. Um, but again, I'm fully predicting a trampoline on that uh, that structure. Um, as you can see, there's one little section that looks that it faces out towards the trampoline that's designated for them to go in and out of off the trampoline. Um, now, I, it's going to have a fully functioning light, which I hope is used at night every night that just kind of goes around Medfair because that would be so cool. So cool if they do that. Um, so fingers crossed that that is the case. Um, but yeah, it's just it's gorgeous. Like, I'm really impressed that they put that much money into the structure um, outside of that. Nothing to report on 2025 yet. Nothing has started in terms of. Uh, any further construction again we are waiting on moosehorn so nothing to report on 2025 but there is something to report on 2026 um, in this video as well at the end as you can see moosehorn is moving along pretty quickly now they are fighting a rainstorm that is approaching as well so hopefully they can get a lot done before the next couple of days uh, you can see that it's got a slight different design than its previous sister models um, the conveyor belt is going to go up the right side there um, the staircase goes over the uh, the zero uh, gravity wall. Um, as you can see, they're setting up the Food and Wine Festival over there in uh, World Expo. So that'll be really cool. I'll be there on the weekend to check that out. I'm super excited about it. Um, I hope this is something that stays at our park. Uh, the new bar uh, in Splashworks is coming along really nicely. Timber Kits just, you know, as you saw there with the lighthouse, they just do really great work and they do it quickly. Um, but yeah, so right there off to the right of the pool, you can see the little cutout in the pool for the water to flow into that conveyor belt area. And then the conveyor belt will go up almost 90 degrees. It's a very steep incline up towards the top of the tower to bring those rafts up. So they are moving along pretty well now. They're, they're approaching, you know, the end. They're almost done. I have a feeling when I fly today that this water slide is done, um, in terms of the gray and white pieces up to the tower. Although I fly pretty early in the morning because I have been working like a maniac lately. Um, so I've had hardly any time to go to Wonderland. Uh, so I would, yeah, I'm not going to get into it. You guys don't care. You're here for the construction. Um, so yeah, Moosehorn should be, if I had to take a wild guess, it's going to be done in the next two weeks. Um, and then they have the plumbing to finish, the electrical to connect, and training to do. 2026. All right. So some land surveying was going on. Um, in the rest of dinosaurs alive today when I flew. Uh, so there were some surveyors there. You'll see them in the trees in a second. You'll see their little orange vests uh, in there doing some surveying of the land. So that's really interesting. Uh, definitely hints and points to a 2026 edition. Um, land surveying typically takes place about a year or two before um, smaller editions. As you saw Snoopy's Racing Railway, it was literally the year before. Um, Tundra Twister, same thing. So unless it's a really big coaster, even though we saw with ours, they do it the year before as well in some instances. So 
typically for a really big coaster, it's about two to three years in advance for land surveying. A smaller addition, like a building, um, flat ride, or kids expansion, it's going to be a year before. So this is pointing towards 2026 um, pretty evidently. So if I had to make a wild guess, we're looking at a Camp Snoopy or Snoopy expansion for 2026. Um, whether that be a restaurant or some new rides or another new coaster. Um, I don't think it's going to be a coaster, by the way. But some flat rides or a restaurant in that area. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.